I've worn a G-Shock for as long as I can remember, purely because that they work, you can rely on them. My friend Steve here, who's a former serviceman, you've worn a G-Shock for... Over 15 years. Yes. It's had a hard life. It's been through mangrove swamps, jumping off ships. But the, the biggest surprise is how it's performed in a jungle. Yeah. The abuse that you can actually yeah. give them. But they just keep on going. But what we often get asked is actually what makes them so strong. So today, we're going to go and find out. Now we know, thanks to their construction, that G-Shock steel will shock particularly well. Take for example the new GST B300. Its design is integrated with carbon fibre, which is hard and light. Combined with shock absorbers built around the buttons, this watch is perfectly built to deflect shock away from the internal movement and keep the watch working, regardless of the situation in hand. So with that in mind, we've come here to this testing facility in the heart of Somerset to see if our G-Shock watch can withstand one of our most dangerous tests yet. Can a G-Shock watch survive the blast wave of an explosion? The reason this test is so extreme is the watch will need to withstand several areas of shock. First of all, there's the obvious physical blast of an explosion, which can blow fragments away from the initial point of detonation. Then there's the blast wave. This is arguably the most detrimental force to any object in an explosion, simply because it travels the furthest and is practically invisible. Right, sit rep, the GST B300 is going to have to survive an explosion and a blast wave, travelling at 8,000 metres a second. That's going to travel through the watch and through me. And it also happens to be 20 times the speed of sound. So we're using two types of explosives today. There's a military grade plastic explosive. The type we use is called Penno. This detonates about 7,600 meters per second. And then the other part is this detonating cord. This detonates at 8,500 meters per second. Yes, Roger. So just to make you aware, the plastic explosive charge is exactly 32 centimeters away from the watch. If it survives this, it will be unprecedented. Now, we are in unknown territory here. We have no idea how the watch is going to fare. It may shrug the explosion off completely, or it may be blown into several thousand pieces. We just don't know. Now, the tank tracks have actually been blown off the concrete, so Let's see where it is. Here's the tank tracks here. This does not look too good. Really, really, really warm. That's incredible. Look at this. <laughs> Despite some soot, working absolutely fine. Amazing. Look at these blast marks all around the watch. Incredible. So the watch has survived that blast. To make absolutely sure, we're going to hit it again. So we're going to take out the detonator here and attach it to the live explosive. Let's see how the watch has fared. It, it looks <laughs> even worse than it did before. This does not look good. It's completely covered in all manner of explosive debris, but it's still working absolutely fine. If we pull away some of this soot, we can see the watch itself is hardly marked. You would never know this watch has sustained two explosions. Even from here, you can feel the blast wave travel straight the way through your body. But has the watch survived? Steve, look at this. You wouldn't believe that, would you? I mean, that's three times it's been blown up, 30 centimetres from the epicentre of the explosion, and still working. It's a credit to the, the build quality, and it ought to be in a museum. Outstanding. So there we are, G-Shock watches. Smart, adaptable, and tough with the ability to withstand just about anything. 